ICRAD, the Institute for Chemical Reaction Design and Discovery in Hokkaido University, has quickly built a reputation for carrying out innovative, world-class research. As ICRED enters its second phase of development, we are celebrating our successes while embarking on numerous new initiatives that will raise the bar even further. This is not just a prize for one person. It's impossible to carry such, a, such an honor, right? So I would be happy to share this honor with all of you at ICRED. I love this um, interdisciplinarity and your, your enthusiasm about opening up and, and opening up to other countries, other people, other influences, and, and this mixing up of, of you know, computation, scientific experiments, artificial intelligence. I mean, I, I just love that. And, and I was always skeptical, skeptical about the, the potential of computational chemistry and theory to reaction design. But now, I think we are at the phase where this becomes possible for the first time actually in the history of chemistry. And so I'm very open and very curious and, and I want to be part of this. This year, ICRED established a new tradition by holding the inaugural Akira Suzuki Award Ceremony. Established with support from the Toso Corporation, the Akira Suzuki Award is given to outstanding researchers in the field of experimental chemistry. This is a tremendous honor. Um, Professor Suzuki is, of course, one of the greatest chemists of all time. And the iCred Award is given for outstanding researchers in the fields of theoretical chemistry or information science. So first, I just want to say how grateful I am for this award and how much it means to me. Thank you so much. And I only wish we were meeting together in person. Uh, the Institute for Chemical Reaction Design and Discovery is a tremendously exciting innovation with a great future ahead and wonderful people. And I hope we'll be able to advance our collaborations and forge some new projects together in the future. ICRED is committed to supporting young, diverse researchers through its new Junior PI program. Let's hear what directions these researchers are headed in and what they think about the environment at ICRED. First, we'll talk with computational chemist Ming Gao. So my major is quantum chemistry, as I'm mainly doing the catalyst predictions. So the catalyst actually is very difficult to control its activities. I cried actually it's very special. To achieve the dreams of the uh, quantum chemistry or theoretical chem chemist, environment including the uh, experimental, theoretical and uh, informatics, actually it's very essential, it's necessary. And I have interest in learning from experiment chemists in iCraft. It's really exciting to collaborate with them because um, we have different way to thinking about catalysts. Next, let's visit iCred's Mixed Lab 1 and talk with experimentalist Dennis Huang. We want to make molecules that can actually be useful, not just you know, for academic fun, right? So uh, that's why you know, we want to explore the functions of these uh, molecules. And then we also want to develop a really efficient, effective uh, synthesis to build these molecules. We want to make this process you know, 10 times or 100 times faster so that we can sort of like shorten the time we come up with a new technology or a new product. The fact that uh, you know, iCred is willing to take such a you know, like difficult challenge and then by putting the talented people under the same roof uh, to achieve this goal, that's really ambitious to me and that's why you know, I want to be part of this uh, journey as well. And I think the most important thing is that all these uh, scientists are all open-minded. You know, they're ready to you know, like learn your chemistry, learn your project and learn your questions. And then they're also ready to provide their solution. Now, we'll head to the mixed office to hear from information scientist Pavel Sidorov. Currently, my laboratory is working on the modeling of properties of catalysts and catalyzed reactions. Uh, most recent project is the project with uh, Professor List's group, uh, which is dedicated to modeling the selectivity of uh, organic catalysts. Uh, even this project with uh, Professor List's group uh, started with just uh, me discussing with uh, Dr. Tsuji about what he does, what I do, what can we do to 
help each other and we can share the uh, data and insights with each other pretty much on a daily basis. And uh, this allows uh, to build uh, collaborations and start uh, new interesting projects uh, from uh, bottom up. One of the next steps would be trying to represent reasonably the enantiomer centers in uh, catalysts and substrates. Let's now visit experimentalist Mingu Jin in one of iCred's many analysis rooms. Our major research project is to be interested on the, the designing and developing the molecules, which is, can be operated as the molecular machine. In case of the, the chemistry fields, you cannot do all of the research by your own self, honestly. Not only just about the, the synthetic chemistry, but also like utilizing the calculation chemistry as well as like informatic science. You can communicate with the totally different fields of the researchers. During the, the, these communications, we got some you know, interesting ideas on it. Then, okay, then why not? Do it? Let's try on it. When you learn about what kind of the, the insight that you can see using the, that calculation way, then after knowing the fundamental workflow, I can you know build it up some several uh, inspirations, reaching to designing or investigating some target in solid state. Finally, we introduce computational chemist Tomoko Akama. First, I would like to apply the developed fast computational method which enables the calculation of large systems through the theoretical study on rare earth complexes in collaboration with the Hasegawa group and then to other polymers and other materials being studied at iQuad. I would also like to collaborate with researchers in information science and challenge myself to conduct research that is unique to iQuad, integrating computation, experiment and information science. I have also been interested in electron dynamics and in the future I would like to try to study chemical reactions in which this electron dynamics becomes important. These pioneering faculty members conduct research using iCred's impressive facilities, including three mixed labs, where experimental, computational, and information scientists work together to develop new reactions, materials, and analysis methods. The third mix lab at iCred focuses on the development of functional organic materials with the aid of computer-assisted design. In our analysis room for organic synthesis, we have a wide variety of analytical equipment, including gas chromatography and high-performance liquid chromatography, for analyzing the results of organic reactions predicted by calculations. We also have an NMR facility that only iCred researchers can use. Our X-ray crystallographic analysis room is highly important for determining the structure of newly synthesized molecules. This is the Biochemical Mix Lab, where researchers explore the use of new reactions and new materials in the field of medicine. On the same floor, we have the Soft Materials Mix Lab, where we can evaluate the mechanical properties of newly synthesized organic materials. At iCred, we are trying to develop novel hydrogels for medicinal applications with the aid of theoretical calculations. iCred has three server rooms, housing servers totaling more than 10,000 cores. The iCred Salon is a relaxed meeting space where seminars, discussions, and casual chats with other researchers occur. This comfortable space plays an important role in accelerating collaborative research. In addition to incorporating new people and new ideas, iCred is constructing a new four-story building located next to iCred's current location in the Creative Research Institute building in the north campus of Hokkaido University. The new building will add 5,500 square meters of space to iCred and is scheduled to be finished in spring 2023. The new building will feature state-of-the-art equipment and a super mix lab space, an environment with unprecedented opportunities for interdisciplinary interaction. The new space will ensure that iCred continues to grow and reaches new heights in its quest to revolutionize chemical reaction design and discovery.